Hello guys, it's Jurassic Goji 2018 and I'm back to do another video after probably a month of absence. Um after I did my Rampage trailer, you know, a trailer I the the trailer for the movie Rampage which is coming out in 2018, you know, about the it's, it's about the game, you know, that's based on those three monsters that go around and start destroying stuff. I did a video on that kind of reacting to what I was like reacting to the upcoming trailer and how, you know, how, what was I going to think about it? You know, you, you, you can go check that video out later. But for today's video, um, after a month of absence, like I said, I am here to kind of showcase you something that, honestly, I've been working on for a couple of days now. Well, not in this month, but last month. I was working on this pipe cleaners model of Godzilla 2014. Um, literally, it took me four days to make. Literally, like, I went to Walmart, bought, like, five bags of these pipe cleaners and wasted all of them to build <clears throat> this one model of, of the legendary Godzilla made up completely out of pipe cleaners and maybe some tissue and napkins and all that so with all said and done here it is right here here's the 2014 Godzilla pipe cleaners model that I made right here and let me just stand him up and yeah there he is right there so long story short, I made this out of pipe cleaners. Like I said, um, took me four days to make, you know, and it was not easy actually. <laughs> to be honest, it was no easy feed. Um, you know, had to do the spikes right there, and the face even was pretty hard, and the freakishly long tail. And no, this is not Shin Godzilla or Monster Planet Godzilla. This is the 2014 Godzilla, but it's based on early concept art or yeah like early concept art you know from the Godzilla Art of Destruction book that you know I looked at and found a concept art and I was like hey I'm gonna recreate that in pipe cleaners but yeah um as you can see it's pretty pretty close to what the movie is you know kind of close but not really it's more based on concept art uh, but pretty you know Pretty close in design, pretty close into the design of God, of what Godzilla is, you know, with cues of the 2014 Godzilla. But yeah, as you can see, there's the eye right there, which you know, yeah, there's the eye right there, pretty pupilless, you know. So that's reference to the GMK Godzilla. There's the spikes right there. Um, not, I'm not a big fan of how the spikes turn out though. It's kind of a jumbled mess. It's not like a, it's not like a stream of three rows of like. <clears throat> it's like just all over the place yeah I'm not a big fan of that um there's the huge tail as you can see you know very very lizard like very crocodilian like and if you're wondering um oh does he have articulation uh yeah he does have plenty of articulation you know it's got the mouth right here mouth can open pretty wide as you can see well right there as you can see yeah mouth can open and close as you can see the head can turn up and you know it stays in that position and it could look down oops this part kind of pops out as you can see <clears throat> and you know the arms of course can move um let me try yeah arms can move and it could bend at the elbow yeah as you can see i'm trying my best not to bend it too much because otherwise you know because it's pipe cleaners um i don't want to like bend it or cause like a lot of a ton of damage and yes, fingers can move as you can see. Every finger and even the thumb that's right here. Sorry if this guy's face is in the camera. Um, same thing with this arm right here and hands. Both hands are pretty different if you if you look. Yeah, they're both pretty different. You know. Um, the neck, of course, can move. You know. You know, I could bend it and you know stays in that one position and yeah can have this guy look down and looks like he's gonna kill you or something <laughs> um but yeah his torso can kind of turn but not really though um though i did i did develop this mechanism and with this other pipe cleaners model i did here's a early version of the of a here's an early version of the godzilla right here that i made and this is actually supposed to be based on the monster planet godzilla you can tell by the, oops, sorry if I'm moving the camera a lot. You can tell by the green color, as you can see. And I will get to this guy soon enough. And yes, I will finish him later on. But <clears throat> with this Godzilla, um, 
yeah, his torso can move, and as you can see, it could like turn. And the secret to that is that right here, um, if you look under right there, as you can see, I kind of made it a its whole its own separate thing right there, as you can see. Um, I don't know if the camera's getting it, but yeah, I put like a little little mechanism right there that's cylindrical in shape, and it allow. And I built this as a separate thing, so it allows it to move on its own. Here with this guy, I made the body with the with the tail and everything. Like the whole body is connected as one piece, so it, it's not gonna move as easily. But you know, it's pipe cleaners. It's not meant to be like monster arts or anything like that. Here's the legs right here, as you can see. You know, pretty good looking legs. And yes, they can move. And yes, they do bend right here. Um, they do bend right here, as you can see. And here's the feet. The feet can move, and you know, toes can bend and all that stuff. All that crazy good stuff, you know, trying to mock monster arts or something like that. Um, and then here's the freakishly long tail, as you can see. I, I know I say that all the time, but, you know, it's true. Tail is pretty long. And, yeah, it can bend. Um, as you can see. Oops. Yeah, it can bend right there, as you can see. Probably going to keep the tail like that, because, you know, I'm going to do some size comparisons later. Um, and I did build um, other pipe cleaner models, other than just other than this Godzilla. I did build the uh, skull crawler right here. Here's the skull crawler. Um, let me move this guy out of the way. Yep, here's the skull crawler right there from Kong Skull Island. This is the big skull crawler that fights Kong at the end of the movie and gets his tongue ripped out. Um, spoilers if you have not seen Kong Skull Island, but whatever. Um, yeah, here's. The skull crawler right there, as you can see. I am going to do a review on him. I am. Or at least a video on him. Not necessarily a review, but at least a video of him. <clears throat> but yeah, here he is. And Oh, and I was about to show you. Yeah, pretty big, if you if you ask me. Pretty big. Um, I also built a smaller version right here. As you can see. Built a smaller version right there. Right there, there he is. Just kind of like, oh shit, I'm about to, about to get, get my ass kicked by this Godzilla right here. And yeah, <clears throat> pretty, pretty impressive if you ask me. As you can see, this is the skull crawler that's seen in at the middle of the movie. I think it was at the middle of the movie when the one that killed Jack Chapman and you know almost killed everybody at the boneyard, and then he got killed by a Mason Weaver. Yep, the smaller one, as you can see. And again, I'm going to do a review on him later on. And I also have the this guy right here. Um, this <clears throat> sea monster right here from the movie um, Giant, Giant Behemoth or Behemoth the Sea Monster. As you can see, you know, it's a very Loch Ness monster, very dragon-esque monster. Kaiju right here. It's all green. And again, I'm going to do a review on him later on. And, you know, compare him to Godzilla right here. Pretty big, actually. Pretty big. But, again, I'm going to do a review on him later. And you might be wondering, how does he compare to the other monsters? Um, or other toy lines? You know, other monster toy lines? Well, here he is next to the Millennium Godzilla from SH Monster Arts. And then here he is compared to the NECA 2014 Godzilla. Let me back the camera up. Uh, yeah, he does tower over those guys right there. Despite his awkward position. And if, in case you're curious, um, here he is next to Bandai Creations Destroya, Bandai Creations Anguirus, and yeah, as you can see. As well as the Bandai Japan Kiru right here. Yeah, my pipe cleaner's Godzilla towers over all these other guys, as you can see. And let's not forget the. Um, you know, Peter Jackson, King Kong, right here from Playmates. Yeah, he's going to fight this guy eventually. But yeah, that was my um, video on the Pipe Cleaners Godzilla mock that I made. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all later.